I noticed on the yard, we have a pretty big yard, I noticed there was tons of grapevines growing. And I thought it would be really cool to try to make my own wine. And I've never done it before, but I read a ton about it, and I saw people doing it with grape juice and sugar and yeast and all this stuff. So I'm going to give it a try. And um, they're not these big grapes you buy in the store. They're these little pea-sized red grapes. The best time to pick them is after the first frost. And it was 35 degrees yesterday, last night. And I thought this would be a good time to pick. And real quickly, here's the grapes that I have in the yard. You can see some of these are all, these used to be full of grapes. Now they're all picked clean by the birds. So they all have uh, two or three of these pear-shaped seeds in them. So we'll see how it goes. And I noticed for most of these, I don't even need uh, cutters. I'm just picking them off. They're just falling right off. You'll get some areas where it's sporadic, you might only see one or two, and then you come to a bush like this. Okay, put it in the bucket. Very good, let's go. Well, we didn't get a ton, uh, maybe five gallons worth. Can I, can I, can I help? Sure. And here's what we have after about an hour. This is all the stems. All the grapes. Okay, I'm all done mashing. Now I'm going to add whatever we have left of a five pound bag of sugar. It's probably about three pounds. And I'll mix that up and then we'll add the yeast. Here's the yeast. It's been sitting for maybe 10 minutes, I don't know, in a nice warm water. All right, I have the uh, cheesecloth on there, and I'm just going to set this lid on so that uh, when this starts fermenting, it'll start bubbling up and the gases can still burp out of here. Um, and I'm going to stir it every day for a week. Okay, it has been exactly seven days since I crushed the grapes and added them to the tote. And I have been stirring them every day since then. And now, uh, this is primary fermentation and we're ready to start secondary fermentation. Squeeze out, I guess I can just use my hand. Squeeze out all the skins and the grapes. All the liquid I can out of here. And then, with all the leftover grapes, I'll just throw them out the skin. And then, take this. Pour it into there. I have to say, I didn't get quite as much as I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get three gallons, maybe four, maybe five. Uh, looks like I'm going to get about a gallon and a half. Um, so I'm going to clean these up and then 
put in the one-way stoppers, fill these up with water, and then uh, leave them for three months. And then we'll filter it back into another container. And three more months, it should be good. I might do it another three months. They say white wine you can do six months, red wine you can do anywhere up to a year. So um, that's it for the end of primary fermentation and then ready for secondary fermentation, three months. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.